ASMR sports here. Today we have um, something that just came out maybe like a week ago. Um, actually not even that. I had um, there comes the heat. I um, I had uh, ordered a, a pre-ordered a, a case of this stuff. So like, I didn't quite know what to expect about when it would ship, but it ended up coming, um, it was actually sold by, uh, I didn't realize it when I bought this, but it was sold by, um, you know, one of the big, big three, uh, online, uh, retailers of sports cards, so uh, this one was called Steel City Collectibles, which is, uh, right up there with, like, David Adams and Blowout Cards if you buy stuff online. Anyways, um, I did get this uh, maybe, you know, three or four business days after it, uh, you know, was released, so um, not as early as it could have been, but anyways, opening day is um, it's kind of an interesting product. It um, comes out after the like the base um, 2019 Tops Series 1 release um, just kind of prior to opening day in baseball and um, it's a it's a pretty low end product this box um, has 36 packs and you can get these for like $26 online all day so it's basically like a retail only product Kind of similar to um, uh, Big League, which is a newer Topps product. It's more aimed at like the younger kids. Um, this has the same design as regular 2019 Topps, but there are some interesting variations um, in this product. And uh, you can get, you know, autographs. It's unlikely, but it's certainly possible. And, um, oh yeah, um, Definitely, the, like the checklist, uh, it's not like just a, you know, sort of a redo of the 2018 Top Series 1. It's got a um, much higher percentage of stars. I think this, the set list is, or this, the um, checklist is much smaller than 2019 Top. So it's kind of a fun one to open. A lot of people kind of scoff at it um, because it's so cheap and low end. Um, you know, which is fair if you're into kind of more high-end products, but um, in terms of fun, I think it's uh, definitely up there. Um, 
Shoyu Otani card in it. But then in opening day, he did have a card, so. So 150 years of fun. Subset card. So that can be kind of cool, but um, I don't think there, yeah, there really aren't any um, interesting rookie cards in this product. Kyle Tucker of the Astros is kind of the only one that um, that I see as, you know, sort of a uh, good prospect rookie in the 2019 um so that's pretty interesting. That kind of looks like it might be maybe a, a variation. Um, so I'm going to maybe pull that out. You know, it's hard to tell what, what might be a variation, what's not. But typically, if it's kind of an interesting action-y photo or a photo of the player wearing something unusual, like a, you know, like a hoodie or a warm-up or something, then that's a pretty good sign. It's like an SP variation. So it's 150 years. There's Bryce Harbor still with the Washington. Kikuchi Yusei. So he's one of the uh, um, few rookies that's somewhat interesting. He's a, I think, um, Japanese pitcher. Yeah. You know, who was kind of a big deal. Not like crazy big deal, but you know, one of, definitely one of the most interesting um, foreign players that entered the free agent market through whatever crazy process they have. There's Mike Trout, always nice to have. You know what 
I don't think I've gotten any like 2019 Juan Soto cards. Well, maybe I, maybe I got some in that in a Donruss box I opened. Glaber, All Star rookie, always nice. There's that Kyle Tucker fellow I'd mentioned.
product, you know, is about to arrive, you have to decide if you want to pay the remainder or just not buy it and lose your deposit. Um, so when the deposit's only like 50 bucks, um, you know, if the value of the case is not higher than when you put your down payment down, then you might want to just let it go. In this case, the price is roughly the same as when I, or at least so far, I mean, it's still got a month ago, so you never really know. It's a nice Acuna, yeah, that's cool. Um, anyways, right now, it's about a month away, and I put my pre-order in, like, over a month ago, I think. And the price that I pre-ordered at is the same as the price. Actually, no, it's like $50. Right now, it's $50 more to pre-order than if you pre-ordered when I pre-ordered. So, um, let's go on. So, um, yeah, not much appreciation yet on the cases of Bowman, but I suspect things may spike closer to the launch date. And like, when I, I ordered, I pre-ordered um, a case of um, 2018 Bowman Draft, and like, between the time that I pre-ordered and the time that, um, uh, you know, the stuff came in, like the price difference in that case was like 300 bucks or something. Um, so, and I feel like with Bowman, that always, always happens the past three years, like, when, when, when the product is ready to launch, like, the freaking prices are always jacked. People just get it, you know, they have to have it. So if you wait, you're gonna almost certainly pay out the nose if you want to get a case of something like Bowman. They're pretty sweet. I just wish I would get a freaking star. No offense, Todd Frazier. Anyways, so I got I got a bunch of baseball I just ordered. I ordered, ordered a bunch of stuff. Um, just kind of, I don't know, random. Mostly 2019 stuff. And then like a 2018 update. Um, and then with those Bowman cases, I kind of, like, am worried I'm going to be out baseballed. I'm going to get sick of opening baseball stuff, because, like, I've been opening so much basketball. And, you know, for a bit of football, too, I kind of like the variety. I kind of miss opening, but although, I don't know why, um, that's interesting, maybe that's a variation. I don't know why I am worried about it, because I have actually a lot of basketball left. Um, in fact, I have a box of um, Fast Break Prism I picked up like last week, and um, I'll probably open that sooner rather than later. I also, I think I have like some mega boxes of Prism, and I got still a ton of blaster boxes of Prism, but a whole case of that. There's the base Mariner Moose card. We'll kind of see what the, um, Oh, the odds of a, oh wow, mascot autograph relic, oh no, that's not what I got, I got a mascot autograph. Mascot autograph, one in 1,216, so, that's, uh, that's beating the odds, folks, I opened 36 packs here, and the, uh, the average is only one every 1,216 packs to get one of those, um, mascot autographs. Now, a mascot autograph relic. One in 15,000. Good lord in heaven. Um, also getting a printing plate, which are one of one, or is one in 6,583. Um, base card image variation. Insert one in 669. Easiest to get <laughs> an autograph is uh, one in thirty-four thousand nine hundred twenty. Of course, opening 
day autograph, it's only 1971, so I don't know what it is. An opening day autograph is versus a, just an autograph, but whatever, whatever. The nice Sevy, he's um, injured right now, unfortunately. Looks like he's going to miss the whole first month of April, which is a big hit for the Yankees, my goodness. Um, he's their ace of staff for sure. And, um, you know, things were looking relatively good for them in terms of, you know, guys that they picked up in the offseason looking pretty pretty healthy and, um, you know, like they're on uh, point. So, uh, um, yeah, for them to lose him is, is a real, real bummer, but... You know, I don't know. They're they're for what it's worth. They're they're the best team in um, spring training record, and of course, I know that doesn't really mean anything. But they're also oh cool. There's James Paxton with the Yankees, um, and he's a big reason. He's definitely going to be the ace of the Yankees coming out the gate because of uh, Severino's absence. But anyways, you know, I always kind of like it. I don't like it, but I think it's um, it's sort of fortuitous sometimes when you have to when a team has to start the season, you know, with a with kind of a big piece of the puzzle missing, because if you can do well, you know, without that, then you sort of get that you know mid season boost, which can often put you over the edge. Um, now sometimes it's interesting that like kind of backfires because even though you get a good player added to the roster, you know, in the middle of the season because they're back from an injury, it sometimes messes with the team chemistry, it would seem, and, you know, they, they do worse when they get the better player um, back on the active roster, so you never can quite tell what's going to happen in baseball, but what are you going to do? That's the nature of the game. There's Aaron Judge. He's having a really good spring leading, um, all hitters and uh, home runs and looking really good. He's got a, a, a slightly a changed swing that I think is actually a fantastic development because I watch his swing very carefully. <laughs> and I can kind of see when things he's doing things that like I know are um, usually, you know, things he's doing when he's having a slump. And, you know, it's not so easy as to just say, oh, and I'm sure, you know, his, I'm sure the hitting coaches, like, see the same things, but, like, you know, getting someone to be able to fix it, like a hitch that you have or something in your um, step or you're triggering your swing. I used to play baseball, so I kind of know what I'm talking about, but, um, um, you know, being aware of the problem is one thing, and then being able to sort of fix it when you're at the plate and, you know, facing down a 98 mile an hour fastball is a quite a different thing. So, um, anyways, his new swing is actually kind of simplified and I think really is, seems to be helping. So, I'm super excited for that. I, you know, I think if he stays healthy, he's going to have probably his best year, which is saying something given what this guy's done. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty high on uh, Aaron Judge right now, but he's also a big guy and, you know, plays the outfield, so God only knows what can happen with joints and stuff when you're that size and running around the outfield all day long. Last year he got injured um, uh, when he got hit by a pitch on the wrist, which really sucks. Alright, well, I'm going to go probably look up some of those um, SPs or suspected SPs and see what my Mariner Moose card is worth. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, opening day. Uh, hope you're doing great. hope you enjoy or have enjoyed some opening day baseball by the time this posts and that uh, your teams are doing well unless they're the Red Sox and then I hope they suck. Alright, thanks guys. Watch y'all. Catch y'all later.